Wajo tuwa nguvu, mini to present Ali, you are entertainment PA, and by the way, the air is always for amazing. It's another episode fully sponsored by Hodari Homes. We have homes in YV, Gardens, Malindi, plots za 5,000, uh, kwa bei ya 90,000 Kenya shillings. Ukitaka kulipa pole pole, unalipa deposit 15,000, alafu yu hela nyingine, unalipa up to 115,000 Kenya shillings. Leo nimekuja kupiga story, na wanangu nguvu, niposhua kama, kama umekua kichiki cheki videos pa. E, kwenye TikTok na jamaa umemuona akidance alafu kisha anapiga nduru hivi afu ndo nimeamua nimtafute tusikie issue inakuwaje njoo njoo bro vipi vipi uko salama mwana unakuita nani only lit boy only lit boy acha mtaimi wani ni macho ina nisoma pole pole unaona kijana ameamua kunicopy hairstyle a a nilianza kitambo mimi wewe ndo umenifuatilia wewe ulianza nini form 2 form 2 eh napenda hii kala ukienda likizo unaipiga atoa Okay, okay, unarudisha, unatoa, yeah. adi sasile ni memaliza. Karibia, karibia. When is, when is TikTok star right now with over 1.7 million followers, na unafanya vizuri. Na sitaki ni kuulize ulianza, li, ulianza lini, lakini nataka ni juo kwa nini, why TikTok? Why TikTok? Yeah. Jo ni like the easiest platform right now. Mm -hmm. Like to make, to make your growth. Mm -hmm. Sita sema mani, growth. Mm -hmm. yeah. hey, uliona ni raisi sana. Lakini uh -huh. pia struggles zinafanya wewe utafute. <laughs> struggles zinafanya wewe kuingia kwa content creation. Yeah, yeah. hatari. Struggles aina gani zilikufanya wewe uamue kuingia? Struggles ni nyingi. Uh -huh. Nimefanya nimefanya kazi mtaani. Sijui kwa unaijua ile serikali. Mtaro tume tumeosha. Uh -huh. Nimefanya kaosh kitu ka 2 months. Uh -huh. Sasa ile fika mali nikasema hapa na wewe sisi sisi tena niko na kitu God amenipea acha ni ni nifanye. Yeah. And while starting out wakati ambapo ulikuwa unaanza ulianza kama dancer. Yeah, yeah. Eh, how did it transition from being a dancer to being someone ambaye unafanya surprises, mtu ambaye anafanya pranks? How did it transition? Um, kila time nikiwa kaosh nilikuwa naambia rafiki yangu nataka kufanya kitu lakini nataka ikuwe different sana. Unanielewa? Mm -hmm. So nilikuwa na John naweza dance lakini naweza fanya nini na hiyo dance. Unanielewa? So hiyo venye unachapa pikipiki unabaki umefikiria kidogo. So siku moja tu nikaamka nikasema hapana. Acha tujaribu ikikubali inshallah. Yeah. Yeah. Video yako ya kwanza kufanya ambayo ilienda viral sana ukipiga kelele ilikuwa ni isipangui. Yeah. Yeah. Reception ikaenda viral sana. How, what was on your mind that time? What is happening? Really, na endelea. Lakini nilikaa chini, nilikaa na mamangu, nikaniambia sasa hii unafaa kujicompose ujue like when when a brand kivi yako. Eh. Yeah. Alafu ukakama sasa na strategy. Eh lazima uko na strategy na lazima uko na team. Hii maisha ya peke yako is kweli. Okay. Nataka tu kujua eh after umeona hizi video zimeanza kwenda viral, you started doing them more. Ulikuwa unaweka video kama ngapi kwa siku ama kwa wiki? Am kila siku mu post. Mpaka leo. Ni leo tu nimekuambia sijalala na nilikuwa nimekuja na miwani ni leo tu sijaweka kila siku. Video ngapi? Kila siku moja moja. Eh. Na Saba kwa wiki. Yeah. Pia weekend ha upungu. Ah, ah. Okay. Right now, right now tunaona wewe unafanya surprises. Pia tunaona Moya is doing surprises. Mkianza you guys were very close. Ila siku hizi kama huo karibu wa uh, uko vile kama kitambo. Um ilifika mali kila mtu tuna brand yake. Si ati ni ile tumekosana ama nini. Lakini kama kama unajua kuendesha trailer Mina jo kuendesha gari ndogo unapata tupatani na nielewa mm -hmm. so una kana trailer mimi na gari ndogo hivyo so brand ni different sifanye surprise hivyo sana lazifanyanga once once um Kenya nafanya ni pranks na ni con human capital sana mm -hmm. yeah stories za charity yeah. juu venye nimelelewa ilikuwa too hard so mimi sisi nataka kuona mtu mwingine akiteseka yeah. yeah. okay Nataka pia nifahamu kitu. U, tiktokers wengi wako na numbers. Kuna tiktokers ambao wana numbers sana. Yani wapo wengi compared to other social media platforms. Wana tiktokers wengi wana numbers. Lakini ni raisi kukumwasha la tiktok. Yani kukua able kutengeneza hela kutokana na tiktok. Uh, Msi raisi hata kidogo. Ndona kuambia. Tseme nikona 1.7 million. Labda nikona monopoly peke yaki. Mm -hmm. Nanielewa. Yeah. Naza kuona numbers lakini una pesa. Okay. Na nielewa. Uh -huh. So lazima unajua hii maisha lazima utoke mahali. Yeah. So lazima unajua pia alafu mkenya ni mtu akiona uko na followers anajua uko na pesa. 
Yo, yo, watu wanafaa kujua ni the opposite side. Uh-huh. Unaweza kwa tuna namba sana ni monopoly. So, Kenya iko CGP pressure. Uh-huh. Unaelewa? Uh-huh. Kama uwezi afford acha na utachukua ile yenye unaweza. Uh-huh. Unaelewa? Yeah. Kama unapanda matatu panda. Uh-huh. CGP pressure nyingi. Wewe unapanda matatu mpaka leo? Kila siku. Na 1.7 million followers. Kwa nini? Mimi ni binadamu wa kawaida. Yeah. Yeah. Na watu ambao wanakuambia ga oh usipande matatu kwa na 1.7 million. million. Unaambia gani? Um nikilala silali kwa mtu. <laughs> That's true. Really. So, mimi nikilala pale kwa kitanda na shida zangu, mimi ndo najijua. So, kina mspande matatu, labda hiyo 100, sema kutoka kwangu hadi town ni 100. Uh-huh. Labda nikitumia 500 hiyo 400 ningefanya kitu kingine ama ningetumia mzazi yeah. na nielewa hivyo yeah. okay lakini umesema ku commercialize eh, ku commercialize sorry so rahisi lakini wewe nikiangalia naona you've been able umekuwa able kufanya kazi na brands tofauti siri kwa wapi um, siri ni audience kupi yako mm-hmm. lazima ujue audience yako na nielewa mm-hmm. kama afano wangu ni mzazi lazima ni jua mzazi utaka nini mm-hmm. na nielewa mm-hmm ka f- f- audience yangu ni mzazi siezi siezi mpelekea pombe yeah. Yeah, nataka kwa nimpelekee unga yeah. so audience kupi yako inafaa kukusaidia <laughs> na wewe kama late boy mtu akikuita event unaendaka kufanya nini yeah. sababu nimeona juzi umekuwa Mombasa eh, nilikuwa Mombasa kwa hoteli uh-huh. okay Just, mini content creator yeah. kwa hivyo na i must be creative yeah. so ukiniletea kama hii chupa mm-hmm. lazima ndajua ndafanya nini na hakuna kitu kitanishinda hivyo yeah. tu Okay, okay. Okay. Umezungumzia <laughs> chupa na nono umeshika chupa ambayo imeandikwa Nairobi. Tell us about this. The, this is a new brand. Mwenye mm-hmm. mnaona. Mm-hmm. It's only 100 bob. Okay. 100 shillings. Mhm. Aivunjiki. Unaona mm-hmm. vinyani na homa nilikuwa nimeweka dawa. Oh. Unaelewa mtoto mdogo anaweza beba. So we are starting a challenge. This is a new brand in Kenya. Mm-hmm. I'm starting up with it. Mm-hmm. So sorry. So I'm so. um, in it or join the pipe challenge. Ni, ni initiative ya ku dispose plastic bottles even though ju unapotokiwa na hali mm-hmm. si nikikunywa si hizi tupa hapa mm-hmm. unaelewa pia mazingira yetu inakuwa safi mm-hmm. so ni initiative tunaanza challenge kesho hiyo hii ni brand yako yeah yeah i'm working okay. with some uh, with some with some ni to nairobi unaona no, nataka kiangalia kuna ya black in transparent mm-hmm. na kuna white zingine zinakuja Soon tuna upgrade to pole pole. It's only 100 shillings. Tupata Jumia. Mm-hmm. Ndaika kila kitu kwa Instagram yangu. Yeah. Ebo, sasa hivi umekuwa able kuuza kama chupa ngapi? Um, bado sijaanza. Kesho ndio ya, ya kick in. Yeah, kesho ndio tunaanza. Wow, amazing and congratulations kwa hiyo. Hiyo ni nzuri sana. Ah, ila nataka tupige pia story kuhusu the type of content ambayo wewe unafanya. Muda mwingine una unashtuaga mtu ama unashtua watu. Watu wako mitaani wanasikia little boy ameingia amepiga kelele. Upo, wakati ambapo unashtua mtu eh, ni kitu kipi ambacho ni kibaya sana kishai kufanyikia um nishapigwa kofi ile hapa unaona ngile unapiga kelele hapa hata yeah. mambo yako yeah. eh, nishapigwa hiyo uh-huh. kuna mzazi ashai niambia wewe ungekuwa mtoto wangu ile vita ningekupiga uh-huh. lakini unachukulia tu positive uh-huh. juu musema musema Kenya nafanya wizi elewa uh-huh. na elewa uh-huh. so pa, mtu anafaa kujijua unafaa kuona msimamo wako straight. Mm-hmm. Mtu akikuangalia anaweza akasema pengine ah huyu ni wazimu. Wachana na e. Ukisikia mtu anasema hivyo utamwambia nini? Mimi mimi wazimu smart. <laughs> lazima inge na koga wazimu lakini mm-hmm. lazima uko smart na nielewa. Mm-hmm. So ndo kama kombe ni struggles. Lazima tafute, lazima tufanye kila kitu ndo tupate wazazi wetu waishi vizuri. Mm-hmm. Watoto yeah. wetu wenye wanakuja juu tengeneza maisha tutengenezi yetu sasa hivi mm-hmm. ni watoto wanakuja yeah. na nielewa yeah. eh, tumeona creators wengi that is moya tumeona aziad ambao wameanzia tiktok na waka end up ku blow up their other accounts waka end up pia kukuwa master in, uh, in such a way that uh, watu hawakuwahi kufikiria tunakuona sasa hivi unakuja pia kwa kasi sana e, baada ya moya tuko na jamaa fulani hapo comedian ako na 2.7 then we have aziad ya yeah, Brandon alafu we have you wewe uko namba 4 yeah, yeah. Una, unafanya nini ili kuhakikisha kwamba unazidi kukua pale on top um mtu asiku predict <laughs> okay uh-huh. unanielewa uh-huh. so naona niko na content different niko na prank niko na human capital hiyo uh-huh. charity uh-huh. niko na hiyo shouting uh-huh. na zingine zinakuja unanielewa so hujamaliza uh-huh. uh-huh. mtu asiku predict ndo uh-huh. mi mi goal yangu inakuanga nikiamka niki sitaka ingia ali ukuje kusema ulikuwa unanijua 
Unaelewa? Yeah. Akili yangu inaniemenga nataka kitu long term. Kitu nikiwa mkubwa ule mtu mwenye atakuwa chini anasema eh ule ni OG na mimi namshika mkono na muinua. Sitaki ati niseme nilikuwa hapa. Unaelewa? Hiyo ndio kitu sitaki kabisa kwa maisha. Yeah. So mimi ni long term. Na sasa hivi naona ma dancers wengi kama ndo wameanza ku make it pale TikTok. Kwa hiyo unaweza ku advise watu ambao ni ma dancers wengi TikTok? Absolutely. Yeah. Fanya fanya nimekuambia kama unajua kesi unapitia fanya kila kitu usiwaiski za watu. Uh-huh. Fanya kila kwa straight pia tikisa msuisi watu pia sikiza advice za unanielewa unajua tukiongea hivi najua kau unanifaidi au unifaidi unanielewa pia ku acha nisemi pia relation na watu usi unajua kuna kitu moja sema watu wanajulikana ufanya sema kama fan wako anatembea alafu akuangalie unaongoja kusalimia si ngojangi ndio unajua ukishaniangalia kile yako ina ring uko sure ni mimi si mimi na kuinulia anga tu mkono kusalimia hivyo kuna kijana ambaye anafanya TikTok na ako na over over 600,000 subscribers ila watu wamekuwa wamejitokeza wakisema kwamba unajua huyu kijana anamcopy moya umemwona kijana eh eh ndio unaweza kuzungumziaje hiyo story hiyo story stasema kitu tia neno tia neno unahisi anamcopy ama unahisi kwamba ni kitu kibaya ama kama ni content afanye content am Kenya naweza sema maisha ni yenye unaamua maisha ni yako ni yako eh Kenya unataka Mimi sasa unajua mimi si mjui. Star stand and mpe nimpeleke unga. Tulipata na mara moja. Si alisi hizi sema ndaenda kwake nimpe unga unanielewa. So like Kenya yeye kama anaona uko sawa. Inshallah. Yeah. Amazing. Nimekuwa nikipiga story hapa na the only lit boy. Unamaanisha hao wengine sio ma lit boy. Eh yeah, mimi ndo lit boy. Hii <laughs> lit boy kutoka wapi? High school. High school. Eh yeah. watu walikuwa nakuita lit boy. Walikuwa lit mbaya. Nilikuwa najitanga jitu nyingine ngumu nikiwa form 1 nilikuwa naitwa Elementrix. Na <laughs> sasa nikasema like yo mtu kukujua ni ngumu. So like mtu alikuwa anasema uko lit uko lit uko lit. Nikasema anaweza yeka hivi. Hiyo. Pale TikTok kuna kuaga na warembo sana. Mimi. Ah ah TikTok hii. <laughs> Atuja kuona na mmoja. Unajua tuna muda mwingine tukijaga tunaanza kuona wanaanza ku couple up tunaona dance general na wake, sijui nani na nani na wake lakini lit boy atuja kuona na mtu. Mimi mpenzi wangu ni mamangu. <laughs> mpenzi wangu ni mamangu. <laughs> kwa sasa uko single. Ah kwa sasa ni. Kwa hiyo madem they can shoot their shots. Kwa sasa ngo deni pote pesa. <laughs> okay the main the main kitu ambacho tupengine tungependa kuuza zaidi ni this bottle ya Nairobi yeah, yeah, only 100 bob ukitaka kujua utaipata una wapi Jumia Jumia eh yeah. yeah. alafu ukitaka maelezo zaidi kwa Instagram yangu yes. and uh, pia watu wa subscribe kwa YouTube yangu it's a journey see ni step by step kutoka hapo unaenda hapo na hapa inaitwa only lit boy na YouTube unafanya nini YouTube unafanya show flani kubwa sana inaitwa shopping with only lit boy next ni wetu tunaenda na wewe mm-hmm. basically nakuja na kupea kitu ka 70 bob na kuomba shop na 5 seconds okay uh, do, 20k uh, ama 70 bob 70 bob <laughs> do na do wana mwingi wapendi wapendi ku shop yeah, yeah. so like pia hiyo content i think inasaidia inasaidia tu sana yeah. kwa pia kujipanga kwa maisha unanielewa mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. unajua kujipanga unajua unaweza tumia pesa yote 70 bob kwa sababu sio 10 bob yeah. wewe utaenda kwa nyumba na shopping uwezi kweli yeah. niteka link ya channel yake kwenye comment section i'm gonna pin it watongo nguvu show some love show some support mwambieni kwamba umetumwa na mwanaeni wa nguvu subscribe to his channel subscribe anaitwa underscore only lit boy pale kwenye instagram ama only lit boy pia pale kwenye tiktok na youtube ni twaje only lit boy only lit boy with capital letters, with capital letters. thank you very much zungumza na mashabiki zako kaza naweza sema wa subscribe all socials mm-hmm. we are getting better and better every day unanielewa yeah. um kenya musema maisha pole pole tu haina haraka ajua tujui kesho really? eh kenya naweza sema ni hiyo ndo na kitu naweza sema thank you very much you are amazing Keep, push, keep pushing bro shukran shukran bro asante sana mimi ni presenter ali your entertainment pa ukipenda niite mwana <laughs> peace out one time this episode has been pl- sponsored by odari homes we have plots in malindi yv gardens malindi uh, 50 by 100 ni 90000 kenya shillings ukilipa cash installments inakuwa ni 115000 kenya shillings details zaidi ziko kwenye screen yako pamoja na namba uh, big shout out kwa wanangu nguvu behind the camera we have director captain jorizo pale kwenye lighting alafu na muona pia hapo kando i'll see you guys in the next video